Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you all for, uh, for being here, for celebrating the 70th anniversary of Belgium's Nuclear Research Centre, the SCK-CEN. I would first of all uh, grant a special thanks to the uh, Director General Grossi, who left the very beautiful Vienna to come the, to the at least as beautiful Mo. Really thank you for, uh, for being here. As you all know, SCK is a Belgian landmark. Uh, at its creation in 1952, it really sig uh, signified the dawn of a new, uh, a new Belgian tradition, a new era. It was the start of a nascent sector at that point, a nascent sector that has a profound impact on our country and on the rest of the world. It has inspired so many new generations of new of young researchers in their unperturbed belief in scientific progress, their belief in the promise of the atom. The promise of the atom, which in the end was also one of our national symbols with the atomium which we have in Brussels. But as uh, Hannah de Cotre said, uh, today is not only a moment where we look back. We are here today to prepare the future. And the nuclear sector continues to be at the heart of one of the biggest challenges, of many of the biggest challenges which we have in our society. The biggest challenges which, in the end, we face as humanity. Since the COVID pandemic, we all know very well how vulnerable we are, how vulnerable our health can be, even if a few years ago we would never have estimated how vulnerable we actually are throughout the world, even here in Belgium. And the wider public might not know this, but SCK really is critical in bringing about a healthier world. From radiology to dentistry to cutting edge research in nuclear medicine, essential, for example, in the fight against cancer, curing millions and millions of people around the world, thanks to, partly thanks to the technology that has been developed by the nuclear sector and in which this research center played a very important role. It is to me the very perfect proof that nuclear technology in itself is neither good nor bad. It all depends on how we humans, of course, use that technology. The work done here in Mull contributes in keeping our country a world leader in healthcare. And I think it reminds us all to our collective responsibility that we have in supporting global health. We have done so in the past and we will continue doing so in the future. We will do this also through our cooperations with the IAEA. But next to keeping people healthy, we also need to keep our planet healthy. We also need to keep our environment, our climate healthy. And SCKCN is crucial in realizing that ambition. It is vital to continue preserving the knowledge and growing the expertise in the nuclear sector. That is why I am here today, and that is why I'm so happy, Director General de Raphael, to have you here in Mull together with us. Because the goal of creating a carbon neutral society by 2050 Let's be clear, it's a daunting goal. This is not going to be an easy task. But we will never be able to attain that goal if we do not use our belief in progress, our belief in innovation, our belief in our technological capacities. We will not do it with a policy of less. Less technological progress is not going to help us. It should be with a policy of more. More but better, more but different. And by different, I mean more research, new technologies, leveraging new technologies in developing the progress that we need to attain that goal of a zero carbon society by 2050. Belgium is phasing out old nuclear while having the ambition to shape the future of new nuclear. And it renews our call to the SCK CEN as a leading research center. Today, you are crucial in strengthening the resilience of our society. 
in innovating nuclear technology that addresses the challenges of tomorrow. The establishment of the International Atomic Energy Agency was inspired by President Eisenhower, who at that point talked about atoms for peace. Today, we live in a different area. Today, it is about atoms for climate, atoms for clean energy and for new economic growth, new economic growth in sustainable societies. And I applaud Mr. Grossi, I applaud you for driving this agenda and to drive it forward and I can assure you that you will have Belgium's enthusiastic support in your agenda. I'm convinced that the SEKCN is a natural partner in researching this mission. You have the knowledge, here at SEK, we have the right people. World-class researchers that have a 70-year-long tradition in paving the road to innovation. Today, we also want this expertise to contribute to a new generation of nuclear energy. Safer than today, with less waste than today, and based on lead cooling. And that is, I believe, our way forward. Smaller, safer and less wasteful reactors. Innovative nuclear technologies that will be indispensable as a part of, of hum humanity's response to global warming. That is why my government will invest 100 million extra into researching this new nuclear technology in order to research, and it has been mentioned already, the small modular reactors. Many people in this room know that scientific progress is hard. It is one step forward, sometimes two steps backwards, sometimes one step sideways. But that case for innovation, it is across all energies. It is the case when you want to develop solar energy. It has been the case in the improvement of wind turbines. And we should give the same room to the research being done in, nuclear, in uh, nuclear research. But to make this nuclear moonshot a success, we all have to work towards the same goal. First of all, SEKCN is the beating heart of Belgium's nuclear research. But let's be clear, you here at SEKCN, you are not on a solo mission. You will not do this alone. We value our international partnerships. We commend the SMR platform that has been set up by the IEA. This emphasis on flexible production is exactly the right one for Belgium. It firmly anchors our industrial base and it will keep, help us in keeping industrial jobs. And I would like to emphasize the importance of keeping industrial activity in Belgium, keeping industrial activity in Europe. If we would not keep, keep this industrial activity here, the impact would be devastating. The impact would be devastating on our economy because this is an essential part of our economy, but the impact would also be devastating on our climate. Because if heavy industry does not remain here, it will move to another part of the world where the rules are less strict. If the rules are less strict, we as a humanity, we lose. So the fact that we have strict rules here is actually a good thing. It pushes us to be on the top of our toes and it pushes us to be able to keep industrial activity here but do it in the most sustainable way. So first of all, we value international partnerships. Secondly, we cannot do this alone as a public sector. We need the innovative power and the advantages of the private sector as well. To drive the research, the fundamental research that is done here, to drive it into reality, to make the jump from idea to market. That is, in my view, the way forward for SEKCN linking its research logic to an investment logic. Ladies and gentlemen, reducing CO2 emissions in Belgium will not save the world. Our carbon footprint is just too small. We can do a great advantage here, but on the scale of the world, it's not going to have a huge impact. But we Belgians can have a global impact with the development of the technologies that we have here. And by extending what is being innovated here and making it available to the rest of the world. We are small in our footprint, we are small in our direct impact, but we can be fundamental. 
we can be changing in extending what we develop here to the rest of the world. We have universities and research centers that are leading in developing the largest and the most performing offshore wind farms. We are at the forefront of hydrogen production technologies. Let us do the same in nuclear. With the SCKCN, we have an innovator that is capable of advancing the design of small modular reactors. And we need to do this. We need to do this because going as fast as possible to a carbon neutral world by 2050, it is the most important endeavor for us as humans. And to do that, we will need all technologies. We will need and solar power, and hydropower, and onshore and offshore wind, and we will need heat pumps, and we need hydrogen, and we will need battery technology, and yes, we will also need nuclear. It is not a matter of picking one technology or selecting one technology and eliminating other technologies. I believe that we need everything. If we want to achieve that goal, we will need all available technologies that are there. And that is why we will pass a law to boost the, the development of carbon neutral energy production, including the development of cutting edge technologies like green hydrogen and like SMRs. Because building a climate neutral energy system by 2050, it can only be done by electrification, by controllable capacity and through smart storage of energy. To reach this goal, I am convinced that we need to take it one step further and that we need to explore ways how the SCKCN can be an international platform where researchers, policymakers, and private businesses can meet each other, where they can co-develop new ideas, test them, and shape our energy future. Ladies and gentlemen, the past 70 years, SCK has successfully responded to some of the most important aspirations of our society. Let us keep the SCKCN central in our ambitions for tomorrow, so that all of you can continue doing what you are best at, excelling in research and driving innovation. And with the right partnerships on the fundamental research that you do here, the innovation that you develop here, and the commercialization power and the realization power of partners on the international level and private partners, I'm convinced that we can achieve that goal of carbon neutrality by 2050. It's in our hands. It is up to us now to make it happen. Congratulations with the 70 years, and especially looking forward to continue working together with all of you. Thank you.